A very warm welcome to you and thank you for joining us right here on Health and Wellness. My name is Zaitun Ali and on today's topic we are discussing about health and nutrition. To be specific, weight balance in all aspects. So joining me is a panel of amazing women. <laughs> I have an expert, a nutritionist by Nzenya right here. She's going to tell us which journey is ideal on your weight loss, be it your weight gain. She's going to tell us more on that. I also have Betty. Betty is on a weight loss journey for the last eight months. She's going to tell us her experience as well. And I have the plus size, the plus Wanga princess. Did I get that right? Yes, you plus did. Plus Wanga <laughs> princess. That is Sarah Mukabana. Yeah. And she's also a confidence champion. So we'll get to hear about that from the ladies right now on the show. Karibu Sana. Thank, Thank you. Let me start with <laughs> Betty. Yes. Uh, Betty, uh -huh. how has your weight loss journey been? Wow. Especially even before uh -huh. we know the journey. Even what led to this journey? <laughs> what led to this journey? Yes. I have three main reasons as to why I embarked on my weight loss journey. Uh -huh. So maybe, I, can I preempt a bit? Please do. Yes. So Feel far, free. since October last year, October 2022, mm -hmm. till now, I have lost 33 kgs. Wow. It was in such a short period of time. Actually, by the sixth month, I was already at 30 kgs loss. Really? So yeah, it gets slower as mm -hmm. you come towards the end of the journey. Mm -hmm. And I have three main reasons why I embarked on this journey. Mm -hmm. Number one, I was already 40 years old. Okay. And guess what? Oh Lord, you don't look like it. <laughs> yeah. 40, yes, what? I am, I am 40, turning 41 next month, oh, in August, yeah? You Make sure to tell month. us the secrets. Please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you will find out today. Yeah. So, uh, basically, I started experiencing some health problems. Mm -hmm. Number one, for the first time in my life, I go to a doctor and uh, I'm told I have high blood pressure. I had never experienced that before. Yes. Uh, then I had this pain under my, my heel, mm -hmm. a sharp pain, until my doctor tells me now you can no longer wear flat, flat shoes. Mind you, I was 98 kgs, mm -hmm. so I can't wear flat shoes. Now I'm wearing these shoes of the old women kind of shoes. Uh, they have to have like a heel. Yeah, like a small heel, not ah, even a heel, uh -huh. not a decent heel, just like a small heel. Eh? Mm -hmm. So old fashioned kind of shoes. Uh, then the other reason, I also developed gastritis, which I later on came to learn it was a, uh, it was caused by inflammation of certain foods that I was eating because I was addicted to fast foods. Maybe you can explain so, that uh, condition to guys. Who gastritis yes. basically is whereby I think your body produces a lot of uh, acid, mm -hmm. uh, based and, and it can be inflamed by certain kinds of of foods yeah? yeah so every time you're eating you have heartburn uh -huh. or you have like ulcers kind of symptoms I so i was i was routinely on some ulcer medication like every day you eat certain kind of foods and you have maybe the actoterms or you have i have the the a medication called nexium mm -hmm. just to control the production of acid in my body okay. okay so i was suffering from that every single day then um so health issues so I decided I can't, you know, I can't keep on taking medication. I have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other reason as to why is um, I'm a goal setting, okay, not expert per se, but I'm a believer of mm -hmm. goal setting. And I set goals. I have achieved a lot in my life. But there was this one particular goal that mm -hmm. I never seemed to get to weight loss. Every time I look at my goals every year and there's one goal that I have not achieved, mm -hmm. weight loss. Actually, instead of, you know, reducing my weight, I was continually, every Increasing. year it was piling on okay. over and over then and was this after maybe uh, you have kids i have one kid one he's kid. 15 so oh, he's not even so it it's not even baby later weight later on later <laughs> on yes later on it's not even baby weight after yeah. my kid i was still in my 60s i was about 62 kgs mm -hmm. so it has nothing to do with the baby's just poor diet okay. so then uh so i have this particular book i want i will be rolling out soon yes. I'll, I'll be you know i'll be i have done a book on goal setting basically congratulations so, on that. and i have been sitting on this book basically because how can i stand in front of people and talk to them about achieving goals and i have not achieved my weight loss goal that yes. is the one area which i had not achieved yes. so i decided i have to embark on this journey for me to be able to, to achieve all my goals, you and, understand? Oh, okay. Yeah, and the third reason is because I wanted to look good and, and definitely and feel, feel good. good. Definitely. Yes. Hey, Sarah, mm. let me know what your journey has been like. I mean, completely different uh -huh. from hers, but also kind of the same. <laughs> mm. um, so for me, 
I've never really aspired. I mean, I, I don't want to lie and say I've never been sucked into the whole dieting and um, <laughs> exercising culture. Uh -huh. But I think a lot of the time for me, the goal was again to like appeal to society's um, threshold that they'd set for us as women, us as people, yeah. is to be, th like, you have to be a certain size, you have to be a certain shape, you have to be a certain way, and I never felt good about myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I, I always tell people that when I, um, I've always been like a loud, boisterous kind of person, mm -hmm. but I feel like that's a defense mechanism a lot of big people tend to really? create. Most of, the, most of the big people I know are really quiet and so Okay, spoken. that's shocking. <laughs> Tell them to come over to my side. We'll hang out and I'll change that real yeah. quick. But like, at least for the people I grew up around, yeah. a lot of the big people, a lot of the big personalities I saw, like it was sort of like, at least if I'm if I'm not the thin, pretty one in the room, at least I can be the loud, funny one. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I felt like I needed that in order to be at least accepted in some level of yeah. acceptance within like the, the space yeah. that I was occupying. And I got tired of that. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm so proud of you, Betty. Like, it's so brilliant Thank and you. definitely a testament to achieving goals. Mm -hmm. But the goal I set for myself was to, I needed to appreciate and love myself exactly where I'm at. Yes. Even though I decide to embark on a weight loss journey, mm -hmm. I just, you know what, right now I'm just in this space journey. Yeah. Because <laughs> the other thing that um, I think a lot of people like are always looking at fat people for mm -hmm. is how come you've not like so you just go to the gym so you just eat right so yeah, you just yeah. come on now even thin people usually struggle with eating right set like keeping yes, your goals physical in terms of as well. financing and like relationships and going to mm. therapy like yeah. discipline is a thing is a muscle that all of us need to learn yeah. in general just to in have many aspects of life right yeah. so <laughs> me as a fat person doesn't mean i don't struggle with that mm -hmm. like this week i might be really good and like on it and like in the gym and all that good stuff next week i'm on my period and i'm just like leave yeah. me out of it so i feel like we should just allow people to appreciate themselves mm -hmm. in those spaces yes learn discipline yes do all that good stuff yeah. but appreciate yourself as you are in the space that you are and in all this would you like to lose weight gain okay of course lose <laughs> i mean i don't i, I don't want to say i never want to lose weight i mean who doesn't want to lose a little <laughs> something you know what i mean like who doesn't want to look their absolute best yeah. if we all could have chosen the kind of bodies we wanted yeah i mean we would have but that's not my reality mm -hmm. at the moment. And it's not out of lack of trying. Mm -hmm. I was, um, we actually did a documentary on plus size women mm -hmm. in 2022. And we got nominated for Kalasha Awards. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Um, I mean, we didn't win, but I mean, it was something. <laughs> the nomination is something yeah, for sure. And um, I did this under the, the, uh, the program called Project Huru, okay. right? Which, mm -hmm takes on um, plus size women and then we use the mediums of film photography and just putting art to fatness mm -hmm. the way it should be but yeah. throughout the program we had like therapy we had gym sessions we had um, different challenges uh, that we got put through mm -hmm. in order to like bring out our to deal with the inner traumas or the inner issues that might have been there yeah. in order for us to achieve the self-confidence that we are looking for mm -hmm. funny enough we were three girls out of the three i'm the only one who didn't lose weight okay yeah the rest did yeah? the rest mm -hmm. did but that was because like the like one lost it after the program yeah one lost it during because that was sort of like the trajectory she was going on she mm -hmm. was more closer to betty's journey than mine okay. but for me it was really about like dealing with the inner struggles Fast, of like confidence i yeah. don't go to the gym as often i found out 
I never used to go to the gym as often because if I am alone in the gym, mm -hmm. I'm there every day. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not, I'm out. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Like, so those are some of the things that I was trying to deal with and, and uh, like understand. Right now, I am a daily morning swimmer, even in this cold. Jesus Christ, I've been yeah. dying. But like, <laughs> so I started focusing more on keeping limber, keeping spry and healthy, mm -hmm. being able to like jump around with my pre-teenager, you know what I mean? Like just, I want to stay and feel youthful forever. Yeah. And if that, if that journey brings me down to losing weight, great. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, let the tummy hang <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. yeah, listen to them. What do you think about the two different journeys? Now, just before I delve into both, I have been on a weight loss journey as, as well. well. Uh -huh. uh, that was beginning um, about two years ago yeah. after I got my son. Yeah. I was interestingly around Betty's uh, weight or at, ab ab at about 98. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to lose more than 20 kgs, oh. but I have done it in over two years. Mm -hmm. Now, I come at a place where yeah. I also resonate with both because mm -hmm. like Sarah, mm -hmm. I do not like being skinny because of two reasons. I hated how I looked when I was smaller. And two, I work with weight loss and weight gain clients. Mm -hmm. I need to set an example for healthy and not a size. Okay. Mm -hmm. So losing weight is really good. It's exciting when you see the transformation, but it can also get you either overstressed and even get you to depression if you do it the wrong way yes. yeah. or you can even get body image issues you really thought that losing weight was going to be the eat for you and all of a sudden apparently you get there yeah. apparently you're and you're like i don't like my body <laughs> people around you don't like the way you look yeah. and so it's it's a very uh, difficult journey to be in so for sarah i actually understand where she's mm. coming from uh, so as long as she stays active and is eating healthy mm. Losing weight is not the end goal. Yeah. Being healthy is. Yeah. Now, for Betty, I have watched her journey on, on uh, social media, and I think I watched it when she's or she had already gotten maybe 30 kgs down, mm -hmm. and just a few videos back, and I was like, okay, what I see here is a story of resilience. Yeah. Where are your videos? Maybe the audiences mm -hmm. can catch them as well. I'm on TikTok, on TikTok, very active on TikTok. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I post every single day. Uh, um, the name is Betty the Chagui on oh, TikTok. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. So, so coming across those videos, I was like, this lady, as the res the resilient side is what I saw, yes. and seeing her photos at 98, you can actually tell she was not happy. And like Sarah, <laughs> who is very comfortable yeah, and happy. I, I can count the number of pictures I have seen Betty post and every time yeah. she was looking down. She can confirm oh, that she's here. For real? Yes. I never noticed that. Yes. She because unconsciously she was either, that was no, she was either on the phone yeah. trying to look down uh -huh. yeah. or she was the one taking photos of others. Mm -hmm. So that happens to a lot of people and they mm -hmm. don't want yeah. to see themselves. Mm -hmm. And like Sarah who's even using that picture mm. for, for and maybe, positivity. It yes. might be for ladies, but what I'm getting, there's a thin line between now um, the weight and the, the health, nutrition, weight mm. balance, all of it comes back to self. Yes. True. It's starting from you. True. Yes. How you perceive mm. yourself, mm. yes. And how that's what can give you the motivation to do this thing. Yes. So is it for ladies alone or also for men? Apparently, we don't have <laughs> a man on, a man man on set. But yeah. <laughs> now, you will be surprised. Uh -huh. My first, okay, my first official client to pay me, apart from my mom yes. being my first client, was a guy. The guy who actually led to me starting nutrition by the <laughs> Yes, he was. And actually, with his permission, um, that was Paul Movie. He works for a TV station now. Oh. Yes. And he was really? My, yes, he was my first client. And yeah, he looks good now. He, he does. He, really? he lost weight and has not gained a single kg mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. over five years now. Yeah. Wow. So looking back and the number of clients I get, it might be a 95, 5% men, mm -hmm. so 95 for women, but the 5% of men who lose, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, they lose and lose it and keep it off yeah. because they <laughs> men lose have weight more very, discipline than Yes, that. and they lose weight yeah. very fast. Yeah. Oh. Mm. As compared to us. Yes. Why? Reason being? 
Number one, women deal with a lot of hormones. Uh -huh. So we have an hormonal side uh -huh. and mm -hmm. a manly nature is more muscle mm -hmm. than uh, fat. Uh -huh. So that okay. muscle, once they start doing, we do a lot of body recomposition for men. Mm -hmm. So you boost the muscle mm -hmm. yeah. and then the fat automatically just starts shedding. Unlike women, yeah. there's hormones involved and Sarah mentioned this, that she's been, she'll be doing very well yeah. and then period week is here and She's like, like, I no. do not care Ash about weight loss anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if you don't get yeah. someone coaching you correctly yes. to incorporate that during the, 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 the menstrual cycle, it's mm -hmm. going to hit you hard and you mm -hmm. will be starting every month. Every month. So it's a thing for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is. It literally is. Mm -hmm. Horm hormones what? play a very big role yeah. Yeah. in losing weight mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. keeping it off. Mm -hmm. And especially, okay, we have over nine hormones that will be um, involved yeah. in the weight loss. But mm -hmm. the estrogen and progesterone balance, mm -hmm. mm. ladies will actually retain water weight during the ovulation and period week. Yeah. So okay. you had lost ovulation weight, you step on the scale, yeah. you had, you've moved from an 80 to a 77, and then <laughs> you step on the scale on ovulation week, and it's gone back to 80. Mm. And you give up, ladies. That's yeah, a tea. true. Do yes, not yes. Step on yes. The yes. 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 So what, what what happens is that you have just retained water yes. because of the hormones, ah. and maybe because during that time, especially now the period week just before, mm -hmm. we go crazy on eating exactly mm. cravings. The, the cravings. Yeah. So the slight carbohydrate increase, of course, makes you retain water. So yeah. it is a thing when she said it. Mm. It's actually a thing. Big thing. My it does. Yes. It does. So, so now, you see. I see it. <laughs> now I get you. Now I get you. And uh, maybe, um, maybe let me ask you, Betty. Yes, sure. So, how was it for you when you started the journey? And which process was it? Fasting? Yeah. What did you really use? Uh, I'll start by this. Yeah. Yes. When you talk about body image, and she recognizes about my fault, I didn't notice that, but it's exactly how I felt. Yeah. I would stand in the mirror, and I really hated how I looked mm -hmm. every single day, to a point where I would go a week without looking at myself in the mirror. Are you serious? No makeup, no nothing. That was me when I was pregnant. So, yeah, so Could it you, so happened yeah. in 2020, uh -huh. I had just started my school business. Then what happens? COVID hits, shutdown, there's lockdown, no school. Mm -hmm. I hit the lowest of my lows in 2020. Oh, yeah. And that is when I think I'm a min an emotional eater. Mm -hmm. So my weight piled on. At that so point, I stressed. must have been over 100 at some yeah. point. But I just, I have a scale in the house, but I just never stepped on it. Mm -hmm. But I know from when I look at my pictures, I know I was over 100 kgs somewhere. Yeah. But I started doing some. Now, eventually, I was like, ah, Betty, you have to do something about your weight. Because remember, I have always been this slim girl. Uh -huh. Even when I gave birth, I was still slim. Mm -hmm. So how it piled on, I, I, I do not understand. So anyway, I decided I'm going to do something because every time I have tried so many times, I can count up to 20 diets mm -hmm. I have tried. Mm -hmm. You go online, so you see cabbage soup diet, or you go, you look at <laughs> Weight Watchers, whatever, all sorts of diet you've ever had. Yes. There's none that I haven't tried. Mm -hmm. The money I have left in the gym, I go sign up in the gym, I step on that skill when I begin, two weeks later I'm stepping in, I'm probably even heavier than I was before. What yeah, do I do? Yeah. I quit. Yeah. I don't go back there. Or you go and you feel like people are looking at you, are judging you. I, I just quit. It's I have been left. Been I'm been telling you, by now, <laughs> <laughs> Serious. money that I have left in the gym, so many things I have tried. Yeah. But now, this time, mm. I made it a very spiritual journey. I knelt down beside my bed and I told God, this time round, I have to make it. Yeah. I can't be feeling like this. I can't be succeeding in all my other life areas. And this one particular area becomes impossible. No, something has to be done. So let me tell you, I sat down mm -hmm. and I decided the same way I set my life goals is the same way I'm going to set this. my weight loss yeah. goals. And that is why. That is the five the five W's mm -hmm. and the one why. I believe journalists use it, why? yeah? Why? Why? I sat how? down. Uh -huh. What do you want to achieve? I want to lose weight. Exactly how many kgs? 36 kgs. How? Within a year. <laughs> My year was 2023. 20, how? Lose 3 kgs every month. Mm -hmm. So 3 times 12, that gives you? 36 yes, kgs, yes, okay, yeah. because that is what I wanted to lose. So yes. I was very particular, and that was to lose 36 kgs by end of year 2023, this year now. Nice. Okay? Yes. So that is what I wanted to achieve. And then 
how am I going to do it? I said, I'm combining everything I've ever had works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I'm cleaning my diet, mm -hmm. thoroughly cleaning my diet. So cleaning my diet means that I'm not taking simple carbohydrates. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to take, uh, you know, the, the nature carbs, the sweet potatoes, uh, the arrow roots, yams, uh, basically those, mm -hmm. no processed food. Uh, the other thing I was going to do, dump deep fried foods, mm -hmm. dump wheat, dump sugar, mm -hmm. which I did. Uh, then... Were you able to do it like instantly? Especially people have trouble dumping Yes, it. that is exactly what I did. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'll tell you why I did that. Mm -hmm. The reason is because I know there's moderation and the advocates for moderation, but I was a food addict and this yeah. is how I look at it. As an addict, mm -hmm. um, substance ad addict for example, do you tell them just uh, for you to stop you know, being an alcoholic, yeah. just take pombe kidogo kidogo? No, of course It not. doesn't work. Yeah. You know, most of the time they'll backslide. So you, you either you're stopping yeah. or you will just continue. Mm. So I told myself, you know what, Betty, you have to stop. How do you stop? I do intermittent fasting mm -hmm. and I don't, I'm not reducing sugar. I am cutting out sugar. I'm not reducing Hold wheat. It at that point. <laughs> Before we go on with the fasting. So mm. let's take this short commercial break. We are coming back with more from our ABLE panel and we'll also get to hear mm. from Venya, which is, a real, which is the ideal way to go about weight loss, weight gain for those who are to be. But definitely what I'm getting is health is the goal. Mm. We are coming back shortly. Welcome back to the show and this is Health and Wellness. My name is Ali Zaitun. We are here at the Victoria Courts in Westlands where we're talking to amazing ladies here and we're talking about weight balance, food, nutrition, diets, fasting. Let's hear more. And uh, before we went on break, uh, we were being told by Betty how she had joined the intermittent fasting group. Watch out to scare your story when you could Yeah, so as I was saying before the break, yes. so I had to combine the three things, exercise, yes fasting mm -hmm. and cleaning my diet okay mm -hmm. remember the reason why i chose fasting is because i was addicted to food i'm this chick who would wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> to go eat to snack. can you imagine you just snack you wake up in the morning at six i'm preparing food for my child to go to the school yes. i have a breakfast okay yes. and before i go to work i have another breakfast mm -hmm. like every two hours i was just chunking something into my mouth and i can guarantee you it wasn't something healthy okay i was addicted yeah. to wheat and i was portions. addicted to who cared about portions? I mean, really? just eat until you eat until you feel, you know, your your stomach feels very uncomfortable. Bloated. So I was basically addicted to mm -hmm. to food. Yeah. So I had to do something about it. So I decided I'm doing intermediate fasting. I was yeah. so committed, and I'm telling you, this journey was very spiritual. Mm -hmm. I knelt down and I told God, I need the self discipline to be able to to go through this journey. And, and it was a, it was like line. a miracle. Uh -huh. I, to this day, I cannot explain to you how I gained the self discipline. You and live the one day to at this a time. day, one day at God a time. is a mysterious God. <laughs> I will tell you. Okay? Yeah. So, and somehow I started intermittent fasting. I, I could go for 14 hours without food, yeah. 16 hours, 18 hours. And, the, and actually, before you go on, yes. let me even ask about this intermittent fasting. I'm yes. coming back to you, Sarah, but mm. what is intermittent fasting? Now, I think uh, the best person to give the best explanation would be Betty, but uh -huh. from an understanding mm. of a nutritionist, it's just cycles of eating yes. and fasting. Okay. So during the fast, you do not consume anything with calories, mm -hmm. mm. Um, but I know they have extended fasts where they do um, limited calories. Uh -huh. So we have different uh -huh. types where we do the restricted one, the 16 hours fast, 8 hours of eating, yeah. 20 hours of mm. fasting, 4 hours, but we also have alternate day fast. Mm -hmm. We also mm -hmm. have things like 5 days, 5-2, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you eat normally for 5 days, mm -hmm. and then in the, in the next 2 days during the week, you eat... Um, less than around 600 calories there okay. about. Mm. Okay. So there are different types, but it is just cycles of eating yeah. and fasting. So mm. briefly, which type did you use? 
Uh, I have used intermittent fasting yes. and uh, combined with extended fasting. Mm -hmm. Intermittent so fasting is... is within a period of probably 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So whereby you're eating maybe uh, during a window of 8 hours mm -hmm. and you fast for a window of uh, 16 hours. Uh, you understand? Okay. So basically, because weight loss generally, what I came, because I have done a lot of research on it, what I came to understand is basically it, it boils down to being at a caloric deficit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So what happens with intermittent fasting is that you reduce the amount of hours where you are eating. Oh, if you reduce okay. the amount of hours where you are eating, then you will definitely consume fewer calories yes. that, than your body requires. Uh -huh. Then now, when you, when you consume fewer calories than your body actually does require, uh, it, it, it gets into a fat burning mode. Mm -hmm. You understand? It forces, your body is, is forced, your body is now forced yes. to start using mm -hmm. the stored fat uh -huh. as energy. No, it's breaking you down the fat. Yeah, yeah, you understand. Ah, because okay. if you keep on eating, you know, your body is surviving on dopamine, everything, surviving on sugar, the foods that you eat right there and right then. Okay. But if you fast, yeah. your body can, can only consume so much that whatever you have eaten. Okay, yes. let me listen to you know? Sarah. Mm -hmm. Paint a picture of uh, Sarah's day when you wake up. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that I do, I <laughs> unintentionally do intermittent fasting. Aha. Uh -huh. As in, um, because I'm not a very big breakfast person. Like, okay. I don't like feeling stodgy in the morning. Yeah. I hardly ever uh, eat in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think I eat between 10 and like maybe 2 p.m. Okay. I want to say, because that's usually like when I'm editing, when I'm sitting down and editing something. Oh, you're also like, a content creator, right? Yes, so, I yeah. am. Uh, okay. The Plus Wanga Princess on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, follow shameless her. plug. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, and then for the rest of the day, yeah. I'm like consumed in my own little bubble and barely remember to eat. So yeah. that's kind of how... I've been operating. So is it by late. choice or it's just a nature? I want to say it's definitely accidental. Uh, Don't yeah. say anybody it's your nature. Of me. This is probably why it's not like represented yeah. here, right? Yeah. But the thing I did want to say is um, Betty's approach is like very um, brilliant because mm -hmm. I love that she said that this time she went on a spiritual level. That is literally what we tried to do with Project Turu. Like, um, we followed a, a brilliant woman called uh, Sonia Renee Taylor. She wrote mm -hmm. her book. And yeah. we followed this um, ethos of radical healing for us, rakas. She, uh, the short form is rakas, but mm -hmm. radical healing for us, okay. which the point was to really look inward as to why you do some of the things you do like um i mean i can sort of relate like during period times that story for oh i need a chocolate cake <laughs> yeah. right this very minute yeah but like for the most part that's not really been my journey like i love food when people are around we will have a good time mm -hmm. but if we are together mm -hmm. the moment we are not i'm like okay when somebody comes to my house and they're like if you bring me a bottle of wine or something mm -hmm. i'm like nah mm -hmm. i'll we'll drink it when you're back <laughs> then because mm -hmm. so that inward look i think is where i'm finally settled at and then i guess now maybe what i'm trying to assess at the moment yeah is the level of activity that I'm incorporating into my life. Because I, I will say, you. yes, sometimes I do get too comfortable with... Uh, um, Doing nothing. Uh, yeah, let me just no, yeah. chill. Like, <laughs> okay. And it happens. It There's happens. no pressure here. Uh. But yeah, for the most part, um, so back to what a day in Sarah's life looks like. Yeah. On an active day, I'm waking up very early, um, helping my kid get to school and then I go for a swim. I love swimming because it's so gentle on the body but it engages every muscle. Um, then I go back to the house. Uh, I work from home a lot of the time unless I'm out on a project. I'll do exactly what I said, like at around between 10 and 2 is when I'll start feeling a little peckish. Mm -hmm. But then, more often than not, after that, I'm done. Because okay. 
like I said, I hate feeling stodgy, so it's a thing for me. And funny enough, my daughter also got uh, diagnosed with gastritis the yeah. other day. Yeah. So we've also been sort of really assessing what our foods are like. And yeah. she's really, my daughter is thin. Nobody believes she's mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, yeah, Basically. for the most part, that's, uh, like I want to say in my household, I, I will say we eat two meals mm. in a day, yeah. but that's mostly because of the baby, because, yeah. um, I mean, children need a bit more of consistency and more routine in their eating habits. In their diets. For me, as an adult, yeah. like once I eat her, that too, I'm that's just it. waiting for her to eat dinner and we are done. Okay, then yeah. Yes, please. Um, there's an uh, offset we were talking about the research, the current 2023 research that has happened. And I also, uh, before you mentioned yours, I also came across one that's saying over 4 million guys um, die yearly because of being either overweight or obese. And it's because of our lifestyle. <laughs> and especially in the urban settings. Maybe link it up to the research that you're telling me about. Now, um Obesity is a pandemic. It's a serious one. Okay. It's bad, mm -hmm. and it's here with us in Nairobi. What's the difference between now being overweight and, and being obese. obese? Yes. So I like to stay away from BMI, okay. but we'll use it today for learning purposes. Okay. The reason why I like to stay away from it is because I don't think it's very representative. So nowadays I'm using body composition analysis, so that mm -hmm. gives you the body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. Like for example, you might lose very little kgs, mm -hmm. but lose a bigger body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. ah. So women, anything around 30% mm -hmm. is, is okay. Men yeah. would do around 20. Okay. So overweight um, basically is a BMI between 26 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'd say 24.9 mm -hmm. and, uh, and 29. Mm -hmm. Okay, then okay. Obese, oh, yes. obese now. Obese mm -hmm. is above 30, 30 which we also know. Yes. Yeah. Even 40, okay. we'll get people with over 40, a BMI over 40. Yeah. But even with that, we also still classify the obesity again. We'll get into that some other day. But what is wrong with our lifestyle? What? So the, the recent KDHS um, survey that was released, it was actually a 2022 survey. Yeah. And I was not shocked by those numbers. I saw the media go crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the biggest findings uh -huh. were to, uh, the ladies in Nairobi, the urban settings, especially in Kenya, <laughs> uh -huh. between 20 and 49 years, 50% mm -hmm. of them are either overweight or obese. Yeah. Now, I did a small evaluation with the clients I get mm -hmm. and the community around. Yes. A lady between 20 and 49 is either she's just done with school or now is currently in school. Mashika but Pesta a, a Mashika Pesta yeah. is a fast job. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there are yeah. ladies who, who are leaving school and immediately using car, getting cars. So you're mm. rushing oh, to... Yes. yes. Park beneath park your beneath office. Panda two kidogo stairs. That's it. Shuka, Gary. Yeah, yeah and then we're the also house. having uh, a lot of ladies doing eight to eight jobs. Oh, yeah. By the time you get home... Uh -huh my friend who, and people who like sarah working from home yeah. <laughs> ah, especially when, and also working yeah. from home has been a, another story yeah. so you this lady has been busy mm. at least for sarah she can boil beans yeah. while working from home oh, okay. but there's someone who's at the office mm. and then they get home and they're like oh i'm supposed to eat so in the morning she didn't pack breakfast because she was rushing mm -hmm. so she gets to the office of course there's a lady mm. for samosa and pancakes mm -hmm. and then lunch time there's a, there's a person who brings lunch or but not only sana ladies you're just saying ladies <laughs> <laughs> where are yeah, these yeah. men no, okay we know the men are also there and then there's also the bit where you get home and you've not planned what you'd have for dinner yes. mm -hmm. what do you do yeah pass by a drive through get your meal mm, yeah. or, or order or order but yeah. so you get there mm. when you're getting there <laughs> so and also their level of activity has reduced mm -hmm. and as much as we have gym lovers i we're recently knew yeah. I'm, I'm close to a gym rat recently started yeah. mm -hmm. but i absolutely love the gym yeah. but being or going to the gym is not the end goal okay. because you've gone to the gym one hour before you go to work and then the entire day you're sitting at the office, you're just turning to this side. I know. You know? That at the end me. of the day, you've just done 500 <laughs> steps. Ah, that yes. is me. And your activity is very low, even mm. if you went to the gym. So all these yeah. factors, mm. I mean, it's the study and the survey. 
And it, it's maybe true. one more question again. Yes, what would you tell um, a person like me? I hide under the umbrella that I can't, I can't gain weight easily. I eat what I want. I never go to the gym. And just because I have a, maybe a small body, I'm not fit, but I can't see that. Me, mm -hmm. Niko Sawa, Vinye Niko Ivi. So what, what will you tell such a person? Those are the people Sarah is talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, just because you're in a smaller frame mm -hmm. does not mean you're healthy. Yes. Yeah. So we have what we call skinny fat people, <laughs> but you have a higher body fat percentage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you actually, uh, I get ladies who are small, mm -hmm. but they have cholesterol issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they are developing high blood pressure and they're like, and okay, asking why? How? 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 Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm. the smaller ladies, and I, this, quote me anywhere, mm. the caviar ladies in Nairobi will yeah. always eat try to eat healthier yeah because they know how it looks to gain weight so mm -hmm. they are always trying but again this the skinny, skinny one is getting <laughs> bullied is being told ah, <laughs> and then they go and eat and eat and, and eat. let me tell you it's yeah. bad because i have gotten ladies and as much as we are talking about a lot of weight loss and ladies have come to me and they're like Menya, i need to lose weight the next one month because mm -hmm. either she has gotten a job opportunity that requires a to mm. actually address people and mm. then she's like people will not respect my f small frame yeah. or mm. she's been put under so much trauma yeah um I, okay mama to to our water okay, are you no. sure those are your kids so mm. we need to actually really be kind <laughs> yeah. about sure, to them yeah to the plus size yeah. to, to the be. small True. but even if you're skinny mm. go to the gym eat right mm. yeah it will all and yes true and uh and then you came in with some props Izi mupi kanazo keki. <laughs> Napi manga hii posho ni ya skari. <laughs> Don't lie. The I, recipes are usually half a cup. The oh, oh, I know, I know right? And this is a full cup, sino? You know? <laughs> yes. Ukiambi wanga one cup of milk. Una, yes. Unachukwa ni gani? Ikubwa. The bigger one. Yeah. So is it about, are we talking about uh, ingredients, kindly? It can be used for cake <laughs> and it can also be used for food because we yeah. eat. And yeah. Betty kept mentioning this. Yeah. But in the program that I advocate for, we mm -hmm. eat everything. Mm -hmm. We just moderate it because oh, life okay. is too short to not eat cake. Now, thank, thank you for you. that. Um, <laughs> so these are my two of three. Uh, before I get to the cups, this is a portion plate. Yeah. Um, ideally, we have two types or rather even three types. Mm -hmm. But this is what we are using currently. Yeah. Uh, the bigger part is for vegetables. So 50%, over 50% of your plate. Really? Whether you're losing weight or not, or not. you're supposed to be eating a lot of fiber. Mm -hmm. Um, we are having issues of constipation, digestion, True. indigestion, bloating, and mm -hmm. fiber is the it. It's carrying your micronutrients, it's carrying the fiber that we need to actually also stabilize the blood sugar. Yeah. And then when we come to this, this is for protein. Please don't get this and then now fill it up. Mm. Also, no, no, no. I saw yeah. on your, is it on your Instagram? There's eh? one that is eh. interchanged. <laughs> no, no, no. So we also so yeah. we use this for protein because ideally there's mm. also a, a, another method we use for the palm. Okay. So your uh, protein is about the size of your palm. Mm. Okay. Um, and your but carbohydrate. But the palm, sana. Yes, it be it's, like it's supposed to be this. Inside. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be this palm. Ah, so that's why okay. this side it might, might not show, but this side shows. Ah, okay. So it's the palm. Mm -hmm. the, the, the palm, the thickness of the palm. Okay. So that now you don't do fish and then you want to do a big chunk on mm. it. And then here we do a fist size for your carbohydrate. My fist size and that of Betty are not in, oh, yours actually is the best. Our uh -huh. fist size are not the same. They're not. So yours is supposed to be smaller. Ah. But are we still eating cake? Yes. Are you still <laughs> eating ugali? <laughs> for are sure. you still eating chapati? Yes, because <laughs> yeah. your brain, number one, mm -hmm. needs energy. Okay, the entire body needs energy, including True. your brain True. to function mm -hmm. yeah. and get, in as much as we might get vegetables from here, mm -hmm. Um, out of the 100% of how your calories are supposed to look like, yeah. carbohydrate is actually 45 to 65%. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. But now, that is because carbs is in everything. Yeah. Your vegetables have carbs. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, Protein. uh, proteins will have carbs, like mm -hmm. your dengu, mm -hmm. your chickpeas, your cowpeas, mm -hmm. um, basically all the legumes. And then when you get here to the carb, mm -hmm. then the carb again is going to have carbs. Nah. So it's okay for you, and I will say this without mm -hmm. fear or favor, yeah. it's okay for you to eliminate an actual carbohydrate for, from one of your meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Because you've eaten 
vegetables here that have carbs. Yeah. You've eaten maybe beans on that day, it Proteins. has carbs, okay. so it's okay. And then you have your fruits, which we eat every day, all fruits. Mm -hmm. um, People made it, ni kama ni mandatory. It's mandatory for you not to eat carbohydrates. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am saddened when I see we, we like to talk about diet yes mm. dieting when someone has started eating the right food but when you're eating fast food no one talks about it uh. so we've normalized we've normalized eating junk, uh, junk that yeah. when you start eating healthy it's called dieting mm. so we need to get out of that snap out of it okay. and allow me to mention this mm -hmm. i have just come from ghana mm -hmm. and i was shocked mm -hmm. those people are still eating yam those people eat a lot of carbs but still healthy food yeah. and when i was doing my quick survey around yeah. the people that were around me yeah. one of the guys mentioned in his entire life mm -hmm. he only knows one person with cancer i'm sure everyone in this room we know someone yes mm. so nairobi we need to do better yeah. we yeah. don't like our, our whole foods they don't yes. look bougie mm. anymore we need to get That's back to that so allow me to oh, okay. teach you about these cups okay yes, we can briefly as we move cake, to sarah mm -hmm. but this is always so there's a an exchange list that teaches yeah. you the serving suggestions. Yeah. This is um, always for vegetables most of the time. Okay. Um, a serving is either half or full, okay. depending if it's cooked or not cooked. Uh, this one is for your uh, uh, legumes. At times you use it for meat. And so legumes, this, nika beans? Yes, okay. beans, dengu. Uh, uh, this can be used for your carbohydrate. A very good serving yeah, for your gali. Eat this... Can I tell you something? Men. That's about. <laughs> Louis men. That's about. No, it depends. Okay. Now, now, no, I. No. Just a minute. We need to. We need. Why I'm now not classifying it is because. Yeah. Men and women are supposed to consume different calories yeah. at the end of oh, the day. So, so this is for? So, no, this is not for anyone. It's oh. just the ideal serving. But mm -hmm. a person can have a serving or okay. two or three, even on the same plate. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one, we use it mostly for nuts. Okay. So those people uh, are eating jogu for yeah. 50 bob at the same time. <laughs> they, that's too much calories. Okay. okay. So these are my the tools of trade. Yeah. And we try and eat everything yeah. so mm -hmm. that we avoid micronutrient deficiencies. Okay. Yes. I have seen people lose weight and look very old mm -hmm. and I've seen people lose weight and start losing hair. Mm. So that's something we can talk about on another. Uh, Sarah, quickly uh, shoot some questions to the nutritionist based on your journey and what you'd like to improve on. I mean, I'm, I'm totally <laughs> like excited that I already have the tools in my house uh, yes. to oh, start portion well. controlling because <laughs> I will be honest, like portion control has not been it's not something that's indoctrinated into my culture of living. Yes. I mean, I feel like for most people, that's right? True. You just eat makawi. After oh, all, RSVP means rice yeah. and soup very plenty. Oh, that's what it <laughs> means. No, 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 that's our. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I just, I guess, like, um, my biggest issue is. I'm glad you talked about nutrient nutrient deficiency mm -hmm. because that's been one of my worries, especially as I continually do more research. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose a damn thing about me, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to continue being cute. And one of my um, big focuses, my motivation for staying healthy, I mean, I hope this is appropriate to say on daytime television, but it's to maintain a high skill level of intimacy you know what i mean uh -huh. <laughs> okay. i hope i was as uh, yes politically correct <laughs> well yeah. well well put yeah mm. but um so i think those are some of my fears about like going like on a really drastic um trend of like eating more healthy or mm. like being on a diet or whatever yes um Losing my hair, looking old, because as far as everybody's concerned, I'm in my 20s. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, just and joint health, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, also like a new journey that we've had to be on is on the acute gastritis with my daughter. And I know that's part and if it's affecting her, then there's definitely a level of me that's being affected as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So your first thing to do is to make sure that you do a lot of whole foods for you and for your daughter the acute gastritis might be as a result of what we are eating in nairobi mm -hmm. so that inflammation that we talked about in the beginning okay. um, portion control is very key that's why i want you to eat your fruits to maintain the glow um, 
make sure you hydrate, stay more active. Swimming is good, but incorporate a bit of strength training. You don't need to go to the gym. Just do it from the comfort of your home, yeah. where you're comfortable, because you said you like your space. Yes. Um, get very little dumbbells. Do it with your daughter mm. as, as like bonding time. Yeah. And for your daughter, you can do an elimination kind of diet mm -hmm. to help now see what is really causing the pain. And then after six months, try to introduce it slowly and slowly. Okay, so mm -hmm. what you're saying is that it's possible to reintroduce back some of the foods that she likes, yes. but in like moderation. Yes. And one more question. Now, I am a big fruit lover, yeah. but is there a point where you can do too much fruit? Because really, if I had the option, the two meals I would eat and a fruits. no problem. It would be fruits. And this particular salad that's very simple, it's like lettuce, cherry tomatoes, and feta cheese with like a bit of olive oil. If I could eat that every day, every single day, I would, mm -hmm. but I mean, feta cheese is expensive in this economy. Maybe it's, answer that. It's, it's, but is it's that, not is balanced. That? What you're mentioning, eating just fruits alone, mm -hmm. is not balanced. Um, you need your protein, you need your um, uh, carbohydrate, you need your fat. Eating fruits is, that it has a limit to it as well. So if it's an apple, you do a, an, an apple. If it's watermelon, you cannot be now doing three cups of this. Mm -hmm. um, so just make sure that you're doing two to three servings of fruit per day. Do more of the vegetables and then include a protein for every meal that you have. Because remember, we need to preserve your muscle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how, oh, I mean, oh, sorry, I yeah. have so many questions. So briefly, as we move next um, to Betty. So what's the limit to fruits and what fruits would you recommend that don't have a high sugar content? We eat all fruits, mm -hmm. just keep it to two to, uh, two to three servings. So like on a, on, a, on a day it would be one apple, one cup of watermelon and um, a maximum of one orange. Mm. Yes, that, that would be okay for a day. Okay. So Or your berries. Okay. Yes. Betty, let me hear a question. Yeah, mm -hmm. mine is very simple, and everybody, because I do, I do coach people, yeah. I don't charge, and I call myself uncertified, and unpaid weight loss coach, fasting coach. And Venya is certified, okay. eh? Yeah, she is certified. Certified I, nutritionist, Mine eh? is based on research, <laughs> on TikTok, following us, uh, particular doctors, oh, following great. her page as well, mm -hmm. incorporate all that together, and just basically, I have been inspiring people through my journey. Nice. Okay, because yeah. I, have res I do research a lot, and there are quite a number of things I have learned, yeah. but... Um, through my coachings, a lot of people come to my page and ask me one question. Now, Betty, you have lost the weight. How are you going to maintain it? Uh -huh. And guess what? I don't know. Then they're how do I maintain it? <laughs> oh, that's yes. why we went to school. Is it yes. true uh, that people say the faster you lose it and shed it, the faster mm -hmm. it, it comes back? It's very true. Mm -hmm. okay. So give now, her tips on how now, to maintain it. Now, Betty, maintaining the weight um, the is your biggest job. Mm. You need to now start slowly reintroducing your carbohydrates yes. and then get to a point of understanding that it is not an end goal. Mm. It's, it's an, an ever-ending mm. journey yeah. and that's why we call it a lifestyle change. True. So just make sure you're now doing the whole versions mm. and your protein, just keep the portions. Mm. With the fasting, the extended hours might need to go for some time, mm. then do your 16-8. That is mm. something you can do for the rest of your life for sure. I actually quit fasting. Yeah. Uh, I quit fasting two weeks ago mm -hmm. because right now I am doing more fat loss and mm -hmm. muscle gain. Mm -hmm. Yes, what she was saying is very true. Yeah. I went uh, and did a nutrition nutritional profile mm -hmm. and I have some deficiencies, yeah. which is ah. true, and I have lost muscle mass. Mm -hmm. So it is very good. It's very key for people to know. Yeah. And because my journey is very authentic, I've taken people. I didn't come and tell people, well, I lost that three kgs. If you watch my TikTok, you will see from where I began mm -hmm. to Until where I am right now. Okay. So right now, currently as of uh, two weeks back and is this the end no okay no, so you're planning hardly. to lose more uh, yes definitely okay uh, but fat but fat. not weight yes. okay not weight. now i didn't know there's a difference between fat loss mm. and weight loss i know she knows so she's that. also she's actually going what will happen to betty is that she will gain on the scale but look smaller exactly ah. yes. the frame my the body frame, frame will be smaller uh, that's what uh, i want to do you okay. understand <laughs> that's what you want <laughs> to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so to do that, yeah. what I have done, I've engaged a coach mm -hmm. whereby now I'm doing more of strength mm -hmm. training yeah. because I was addicted to cardio. People have this, you know, uh, for, I mean, they have been convinced.
sense that you do a lot of cardio, you lose weight. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. And you lose a lot of weight with cardio. Yeah. But then again, you lose your muscle mass. mass. Mm -hmm. So okay. I am on that journey where I'm strength training to lose fat mm -hmm. and gain muscle, gain mass. muscle. So I'm no longer fasting. Okay. But I am. I still coach people on how to do fasting mm. because I'm those kind of people who I just want to see the results. So mm. once I see the results, yeah. that's good. Now I'm convinced. Now I can continue with with my journey. Thank you so much, ladies. Yeah. We can go on and on and on. <laughs> this has been a very interesting and informative show. Mm. We've learned health is the goal and wellness is actually the activities and the lifestyles that are pushing us mm. towards the goal. So this has been Health and Wellness. My name is Zaitun Ali. Find me on Instagram at Ali underscore Zaitun. And we've been filming right here at the Victoria Courts in Westlands. Stay tuned for the next show next week. See ya.